you what's going on my people and welcome to run tell that tv all right what's going on man and i got a couple of things i want to talk about here uh, i don't think you'd be able to see my screen um but i'm gonna pull up something um soon and it's gonna be about tinnitus it's not about games okay i enjoy playing video games um and, I, and it's and it's fun you know but i don't sit down all day and play them right but i got something to talk about that's way more important than just video games okay um and this is about the lord jesus christ in your life um I do have a story that I want to, it's not a story, it was this news um, that about a guy that committed suicide. Um, and it touched me in a way, it it, uh, it caught my attention. And the man who committed suicide was the CEO of Texas Row House. Now my son used to work there. Okay, I didn't know him personally, but it just caught my attention because it said the CEO of Texas Roadhouse, you know, uh, committed suicide. And I was like, wow, what, what happened? You know, why did he commit suicide? And um, I started reading, and it said that he had tinnitus, but he also had COVID. You know, COVID intensified his tinnitus. And therefore, he committed suicide because the pain was unbearable. The pain was unbearable. I'm like, wow. Wow. I know how he feels. I know exactly how he feels. Now, not with COVID, but the intensity. Um, now, his intensity may have been worse than mine. I don't know everybody. Tinnitus is different. But um, I have tinnitus. Well, I'm going to say have, um, or might as well say, I still have it, but I can function now. Um, I was in Iraq in 2003. We invaded on March 23rd. Um, did my tour over there. I'm not going to get into all that happened in Iraq, but um, after I got out, I got surgery and got out, I would get a couple, you know, um, um, ringing in the ear and it'll go away. But years later, maybe four years later, I woke up. Maybe five years, five years later. I'm gonna say, I'm, and I may be off on that. Maybe a little bit longer. But um, I woke up one morning, and the ringing started. But this time, it just never turned off. And it got worse. I went outside. Uh, oh no, the first thing I did was like, okay. I got my wife up and said, hey, my ear's ringing and it's not going off. And it's ringing really loud. And um, I took a shower. No, no, no. The first thing I did was I went outside and I started walking around the block and, you know, hoping at some point, you know, that it would just go away. It didn't go away. Went home. Um, got in the shower. And it sounded like, oh. It's gone. Cool. So I turned it off. No, not going away. So this time I'm starting to panic. Like my heart is racing big time. And um, I call to my wife and I'm I'm in tears. Like yo, this thing is not stopping. So I go to the hospital. And I tell the guy what's going on. He's like, oh yeah, you have tinnitus. Now, I didn't know I had tinnitus. I didn't know the name of it, but I know I had it on my records called Ringing the Ear, but I didn't know it was tinnitus. And the guy came and said, hey, you have tinnitus and there's no cure for it. Um, he um, sent me to like an ear, nose, and throat doctor, ENT. Um, and uh, you know, that took like a week to get in there. And now I was like, yo, I hope this at least do something to calm it down or something. And... Um, I got there, he was like, well, stop eating this, stop eating that, and, you know, I got some pills that may calm it down. I got home, I took those pills, 
um, you know, step in the bathroom with the water running that night because uh, the, the water overpowers the sound. I woke up the next morning, I started hearing crickets. So when you um, read something that says to um, you hear um, like the uh, noises and other sounds, those sounds may be like crickets. Like right now I have crickets, but I can function. But I'm going to tell you why I can function pretty soon. Um, and this time I'm going crazy. You know, I just, I was in college, about to graduate, and I had a, um, a, um, a contract job, you know, doing IT work. And uh, I got there, you know, and I could not function. Like, I broke down crying in front of my manager. Like, hey, I, I can't, I can't hear these people calling that I can't fix the issue. And end of the story, I had to end up leaving. I, end of the story, I ended up leaving. Um, due to my tinnitus, um, the only thing, the only place I felt comfortable at was basketball. I coached basketball and trained, and the basketball, the sound of the basketball dribbling, overpowered the sound. Driving in my car with the windows rolled down, overpowered the sound. But um, at night when it got dark, this one was really bad. It broke me down and prayer 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 i was constantly praying and it constantly kept me going back to the lord just asking the lord can you just take this away oh lord i'll be in the bathroom for nights and nights just praying to the lord for healing and, and just constant prayer and, I, and there was one i said lord if you can just turn it down turn it down And um, my tinnitus last, lasted like maybe three or four months. And um, I woke up one morning, nothing. I did all the, you know, the dieting and stuff. and But it was still bad. And, and, they, so I, and I woke up that morning, it was like nothing. Now it, w it was still, yeah. but I was like, yo, I can hear. I was so excited, you know. I woke up my wife and I was like, you know, complete joy. And, um, man, the power of prayer is important. Those nights of um, constantly sleeping in the bathroom and, you know, the, the things going through your head. But, um, all of those nights of sleeping in the bathroom, sleeping with the laptop on my chest, like with the pillow, and listening to the waves go back and forth. Um, it was tough. I thought about, you know, suicide and just ending it, like seriously. But God. The constant prayer and too much. The 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 prayer comforted me. Speaking to the Lord comforted me. Now I don't know what this guy was like. I don't know how intense it was for him to commit suicide. Um. Definitely keep their his family. I I don't I have his name up soon. Uh, you can check out the post down below. But make prayer. Not even if you're going through things. Don't just you know. Oh, I'm feeling down right now. I need prayer. No, in all things pray. Right. Just constantly pray to the Lord. Good, bad, whatever. Wake up in the morning. Just thank the Lord for giving you breath to breathe. Because it is a blessing. Uh, and for the Christian, it's both ways. I mean, even we live and we die, um, <clears throat> we are the Lord's. You know, if you're a Christian, you already know where you're going. Um, so there's 
great comfort in that. Um, but this is not a video game um, video. This is um, a video about, you know, um, prayer and if you're in pain and and you're struggling and things like that and if you have suicide thoughts, uh, definitely call out to the Lord. Call out to the Lord. And give it to your pastor. You know, talk to him. You know. You know, he'll listen. And God hears our prayers constantly. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and say my, my tinnitus is fully gone, but could I ask to turn it down? And the Lord will definitely turn it down. And now, every now and then it will go off and it'll go back off. But I haven't had that type of episode in years. And I praise God for it. God is good. God is good. So I'm not going to hold y'all up. Um, be in constant prayer, good or bad. All right? I'm out of here. Deuces.